Hi. Now in this question, what we've got here is a particle P on a slope inclined at 30 degrees to the horizontal. P is attached to one end of a taut, light, inextensible string which passes through a small, smooth ring Q of mass m kilograms. The portion PQ of the string is horizontal and the other portion of the string is inclined at 40 degrees to the vertical. A horizontal force of magnitude h newtons acting away from P is applied to Q. And the tension in the string is 6.4 newtons. And the string is in the vertical plane containing the line of greatest slope on which P lies. Both P and Q are in equilibrium. And what we've got to do is calculate M and then calculate H. So if you'd like to have a go at this and haven't done so already, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. Do come back when you're done and you can check your work solution against mine. OK, welcome back if you had a go. So the first thing I'd want to do in a problem like this is to draw on the forces acting on the ring Q. Now, we're told it's mass. Its mass is M. That's what we've got to find out. So its weight will act downwards and that would be Mg. Mg Newtons. There's not going to be a normal reaction because it's not on a surface. But there is tension in the string. Tension of 6.4 newtons. So that tension is going to be pulling towards P okay, on this part of the string. So we'll just mark that in there as 6.4 newtons. And because it's a smooth ring, there'll be a tension pulling it upwards, like so. Just put that in there. That too will be 6.4 newtons. It's the same tension because it's a smooth ring. So put that in as 6.4 newtons. I'll just go over this force of H newtons. Just put it in red so that we can see all the forces acting on Q now are in red. Now there's no other forces acting on the ring Q. So in order to get the mass M, all I need to do is resolve. And I'm going to resolve forces, that is apply Newton's second law, force equals mass times acceleration, in the downward sense. Okay, So I'm going to say that downwards is my positive direction. I'm resolving downwards. OK, taking downwards as positive. So what forces have we got acting downwards? Well, we've got all of Mg okay, acting downwards. So that's going to be positive Mg. As for the 6.4 Newtons here and the H Newtons here, they act perpendicular to the direction I'm resolving in. So we don't need to take these into account. But I have got this tension here of 6.4 newtons, which acts at 40 degrees to the vertical. So what I need to do is split this force into two components. And those two components, one would be horizontal and one would be vertical. Now, this horizontal one here will have no effect because it's perpendicular, again, to the direction we're resolving in. I'm only interested in this component of the tension. And if you followed my tutorials before on resolving, you'll know that if you have got a force, in this case 6.4 newtons, and you're given the angle between the force and the direction you're resolving in, this is the cosine of the angle. So it'd be 6.4 cosine 40 degrees for this component up here. OK, well that will act in the negative sense, so that would be minus 6.4 cosine, or cos for short, of 40 degrees. And that's my resultant force now, acting on Q, but because Q is in equilibrium, then that resultant force must equal zero. So if I rearrange this for M, 
by adding 6.4 cosine of 40 degrees to both sides and then dividing by g. I'll take g as 9.8, okay? Then if we work this out, you end up with 0 0.5002 and so on. And if I round this, say, to one decimal place, it's going to equal 0 0.5, okay? So the mass will be 0 0.5 kilograms to one decimal place, one dp for sure. Okay, well, that's the mass m. Now, in the next part, we've got to calculate h. So what I'll do is I'll just remove the components that we've got here, and we'll move on to the second part. So in this second part, how do we go about calculating H? Well, normally, in questions where we resolve in one direction, we tend to resolve in a perpendicular direction. And this is no exception. So what I'm going to do is resolve horizontally, taking to the right as positive. OK, so we'll take to the right as positive. But it's up to you. You can take to the left as positive as long as you stick to your direction then the maths will work out but I've taken to the right as positive because H acts in the positive sense and so when we resolve to the right we've got all of H acting to the right and then we've got minus 6.4 newtons for this tension here it acts in the opposite sense to what I've got here so minus 6.4 newtons as for the weight here, mg, that's perpendicular to the direction we're resolving, so we can omit that. It has no effect in this sense. But this tension of 6.4 newtons is inclined, not at 90 degrees to this horizontal direction, it's inclined here at 40 degrees. So we need to split it into those components again. So we'll bring those components back up, and this component now, the vertical component, has no effect because it's perpendicular to the direction. We're interested in this component. Now, we've got our angle of 40 degrees here. This one excludes that angle of 40. And I showed you in my tutorials that we just do the force, in this case 6.4, and we take the sine of this angle. So this component here is 6.4 sine 40 and it acts in the negative sense to what we've got here so it's going to be minus 6.4 sine of 40 degrees and that's our resultant force acting on Q in this sense so that resultant force is equal to zero because it's in equilibrium so if we rearrange this now for H We've got that therefore H equals, and if we add both these two terms to both sides, H will equal 6.4 plus 6.4 sine of 40 degrees. And if you work that one out, you end up with 10.513 and so on. And if we round this two to one decimal place, it's going to be 10.5 newtons to one dp, one decimal place for short. Okay?